in the last 20 something years, it's been uh, an incredible expansion. We, we planted thousands and thousands of trees and thousands and thousands of shrubs and added, you know, uh, uh, acres of green space and uh, I've been real proud of that you know I think it's uh, it being able to be a part of that um, has been uh, really enjoyable Dale Westermeyer is an exemplary employee who works hard behind the scenes to keep the city of Greenville looking beautiful. As Parks and Grounds Administrator, it's his job to provide residents with a variety of parks and recreational choices to enhance their quality of life. Dale also recently served as Interim Parks and Recreation Director for the city. Dale Westermeyer is always busy behind the scenes quietly ensuring that Greenville remains a state-of-the-art community in which to live, work, and play. I think the the most enjoyable part of my job is watching the downtown and in general the green space in Greenville just uh, expand to a, a larger scale. Um, when I came here I think the primary thing that was uh, maintained was Main Street itself and uh, we uh, expanded that out um, two or three blocks on either side of that and in addition our green space has increased dramatically in, in the last 24 years. Last year, Dale um, became our Interim Parks and Recreation Director, and he was absolutely amazing. He um, was a great support to the Recreation Department, to the zoo, and, and Parks and Grounds. This is one of our hidden jewels in Greenville. It's called the Rock Quarry Garden, and um, um, I think since day one, it's probably been one of my favorite places to be in Greenville. Um, it's not uncommon to see people uh, coming out here to lunch and sitting up on the rock uh, ledges and, and uh, having their lunch for the day. Um, it's just a nice place. It's very close to Main Street. It's very close to the urban environment, but you can be down here and be alone. And uh, it was uh, just the falls and the, in the, uh, in the um, stream going through it. And over the years, uh, the city's built it up to where it's uh, it's becoming really nice, almost like a garden, uh, but it's, it's really probably one of my favorite places to be and favorite parks and gardens to be in. This is our tree restoration and tree preservation program on Main Street. What we're doing is replacing some of our maples. Uh, we're also preserving some of the oaks that we have on Main Street by giving them a little bit better growing spaces, uh, vertical mulching. Uh, replacing some of the sidewalk in, in the surrounding area of some of the large trees but as you can see in here we're installing some silver cells which is the newest technology in, in uh, urban tree care so you know what time they're gonna uh, what, what time you're gonna be prepared for us or we're not gonna have any problem with the support of the uh, concrete or anything through he here shouldn't. he's That's gonna good. get with us and then we're gonna try to time it about the same time so that he can get his line okay. in as well good enough appreciate it yes sir thank you very much Dale and I are, are best friends. We uh, hunt and fish and camp together and our families uh, interact with each other and we go on trips together. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, he is a pack rat. I have a tendency to stack things up and pile things up. He is a Walmart red tag hunting, fishing, camping pack rat. I have to say that. I have to expose him. Favorite place to shop is Walmart. Bar none. I enjoy going in and looking for the deals and the clearance items or the red tag items. And I like to go early in the morning. So I'll go buy the groceries and I'll ease over towards the sporting good area. And I'll look for the red tag sales. I get into his tackle box out in the lake and uh, it looks like I'm at Bass Pro Shop. And uh, I don't have to carry anything. Uh, Dale uh, usually has two of everything. And uh, we go hunting or fishing. Uh, he has the supplies. No one that fishes on a regular basis can get by with just one rod and reel. You've got to have a variety of rod and reels for a variety of uh, different types of fishing. So I try to cover the bases with uh, uh, the several that I have. Uh, I could probably use a few more. If he catches a fish, it doesn't stand a chance because it never gets to turn its head. He gets it in the boat um, just as quick as, uh, as he gets a bite. Dale's a nut. 
He has really got a one terrific sense of humor. When he comes through the door out there, typically he's got a story to tell or a joke to tell or he's carrying on with some foolishness probably that you don't see at a lot of other places out of Dale, who seems to be a very serious person. But he is, he's a nut. Well, he's just someone who has a lot of integrity. He's very honest. He takes his job as dad and husband very seriously. You know, his motto is, when the women in my life are happy, I'm happy. <laughs> and he just, you know, we always joke about that when I was little, he would, if he upset me or made me cry or something one time, um, I was late for school and I left my little Kleenex in the car and my mom said she got a call about lunchtime with him just beside himself upset that I had left my cry rag, he called it, in the car. And when I got home, there was a bag of M&Ms and an apology on my bed. He's just always been such a good father and takes his job seriously to make sure we're happy. <laughs> There's a wide range of people that work for the city of Greenville and uh, n not just a wide range of personalities, a wide range of occupations. And I really enjoy um, mingling with those kind of people. I mean, you can go to any different department, any different, and, and talk to somebody that has a total different perspective than what you have. And I think it makes it a really interesting job, and uh, it makes it interesting to come to work when you can sit down and, and, uh, and interact with people that have just such a diverse background. And I don't think you can get that in too many occupations.